And ladies and gentlemen, this main event, a previously recorded action, I'm Tommy Grace alongside Frank Reyes for this Lumberjack Strap Match, which was voted on by the fans on DWIProWrestling.com. Frank, it's a pleasure to be alongside you once again. Always a pleasure with you, Tommy, you know that. It's been a while. It certainly has. You see here, coming to the ring right now, we have the Highwaymen, Butch Long, uh, Donnie York, who's not going to be in this match there in the white shirt, and Mark Mandrake in the back with the flag. Where senior official Adam Ray is in the ring right now. This match is very unique in the fact that uh, this was the match was voted upon by the fans of DWI. They got onto our website, DWIProWrestling.com, and they voted for it. So here we are. Yeah, they certainly did, and I also want to thank my fans at the Ace of Spades headquarters page on Facebook for voting for this as well. I know many of them are DWI wrestling fans that watch our matches online as they're scattered across the country, but they catch us on YouTube as you are right now. And as you said before, this is previously recorded as I was part of the Lumberjacks. Now that is correct. see here the, the crowd seems to be very firmly behind the Highwaymen here who lost their tag titles right our last show to their opponents today, the team of First Degree, Preston Kane and D'Lo Jordan. And I tell you, the First Degree have come a long, long way since their first came, to, came here to uh, Florida and DWI. I believe DWI was really the first time that they got together. And the Highwaymen have become a big fan favorite as of late. Indeed, they certainly didn't start out that way. No, they did not. They were one of the most hated teams in Florida. And uh, they, they actually, uh, fans have come really to like them quite a bit. I know that some of you may have beaten up in the past and probably will beat up in the future. Just remember, Donnie has, has weak balls and he will poop in your bag if you hit us too hard. Now, being that it's Black History Month, I see it very fitting that we're having a leather strap match against two black guys. I think you fans, I think you fans, you know, we're wearing a hat. I think you fans have a great sense of humor. So why don't you bring the boys down, let us give them a whooping, take their DWI tag titles back to the oh, shores, so I need some muscle suit. I ain't looking at that it's coming, I know. Hey, 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 come on now. You're supposed to be on our side. Now we know Mark Mandrick's opinion does not necessarily reflect that of the management of DWI for wrestling. First degree is going to be making their way to the ring here, as you can see as well. Around the ring, we have the assorted lumberjacks. You see Rob Venomous, there's Lightning Monroe off to your left. Brass Knucks champ, Lightning Monroe. Uh, newcomer to DWI, Drew Blaze. DWI junior heavyweight champion, Dirk Manning there. And you see our photographer, Orlando Machia. I can guarantee you he's not going to get involved in this match. And he wants to keep his camera safe. Reluctantly, first degree comes out of the dressing room. They weren't happy with this match and they were informed about it. Not at all. They do not want to get in the ring here with these men and they certainly don't want to end up outside of it once they exactly. actually get started. Uh, Dirk Hanning there, snapping the belt, letting them know what's going to happen if they come his way. Certainly ready for action here. 
Also down there at the bottom of your screen in the green shirt, another DWI newcomer just had his first match with us today, Charlie Albanassi. Charlie, one of the luckiest men in DWI, as he had to face Lightning Monroe and Charlie's death, he didn't have to listen to all the garbage that Monroe spews. Uh, Abernathy is an interesting one in the fact that he is really brand spanking new to the business. And uh, he already is getting into it with most of the guys out here. It certainly is. You can see the guy of the franchise there telling him to cool his jets just a little bit, wait for the action to get started in the ring. Again, first degree, not wanting to get into the ring. I think they're going to get a little help. There we go. Now that's not a way to start out a match. It's on your rear end. I know it. Soon, as first degree heard about this match, they were in my offices, and they were pleading, pleading their case. But like I said before, this was voted upon by the fans. And uh, this is what we got right now. Cool. First degree jumps in here at the beginning. We're underway. The action's loud. Didn't hear the bell, but I'm sure that it rang. Reversal here. Oh. Uh-oh. First degree with the first mistake of the match already. And oh, they, they ended up in the Lumberjacks who were in there. That's why we have the Lumberjacks. Oh, I see you right there. Yeah. Chuck and Preston came back into these highwaymen. I know you had your issues with the highwaymen as well. Of course, they, they earned those tag titles uh, from beating you and our former champion now, Jerome yep. Hendricks. Nice double there by Butch Law. Certainly is. Butch with some words here for Preston Kane. Butch Long, a very vocal wrestler. Uh, he makes sure that you know what he's talking about. Oh, Butch sends Preston to the other side again. But these guys aren't as quickly to throw Preston back in. No, not at all. Let him take a little bit of a breather out here. Of course, you got Big Rob Venomous there. He's going to oh, no, they're sneaking around the other side of him. There we go. Oh, and a double headbutt. Been on the receiving end of one from both of those men. Believe me, you don't want to be there. Mm. Now, of course, other than, than the outside, of course, all other rules that normally apply here do. Uh, we saw that Mark, Mark Mandrake there had to break that hold. Mandrake with some words in Lumberjacks. Oh, big Ooh, diamond big knee. Diamond. Big leg drop there by Mark Mandrake. Only a two count there. It's a good thing your son's in there officiating because I don't know if I would trust anybody else to do this job for this type of match. I agree with you there. Trained by the best. Oh, Butch Long had a good chop. Oh, oh, and another one. And I tell you, I've been on the end of some of those chops. They are not pretty. No, Preston hung up on the ropes there. And rip, rip, reversal. Oh, Preston Kane getting the better of Butch Long here, and Butch is on the outside. Oh, see Ray Ayala there. Lightning Monroe, Nathan Vane, a couple others taking taking a couple swipes at Butch Long. Of course, Dilo, the uh, high flyer of first degree. But I don't know if I'd want to get up on the ropes in this sort of match. I don't know who cracked you in the back of the ankle with one of those straps. Ooh, nice drop kick there. Again, Butch is on the outside, so the Lumberjacks taking advantage of the situation here to get some action in. And I'll tell you, between Drew Blaze and Charlie Albanassi here, those Lumberjacks better be careful because you never know when you might see these men down the road and they'll remember this. Yeah, exactly. 
Ouch. Oh, Preston Kane with his patented elbow drop. Butch again rolling to the outside. Yeah, fortunately for Butch there, rolled out towards Donnie York, one of the other highwaymen. Yeah, gets rolled back in and takes a boot to the head. So the Lumberjacks here again taking advantage yeah. of the situation to get in some shots on former champ Butch Long. Of course, Butch was also our uh, first UWI heavyweight title holder. Preston Kane there with a little more extracurricular activity with a chokehold. Nothing else works, a rake to the ice. There we go. Tag from D'Lo. Oh, D'Lo with a nice kick. Double axe angle from Preston here. And a very smart move here on the part of first degree as well. Keeping this man in their corner of the ring. Definitely. Once you cut that ring in half, it certainly does not favor you. Ooh, a couple of big strikes there. You see Anthony Devlin with his belt. Oh, yeah. there, there. Part outside. Come on, ref. Oh. So Butch again struggling to get back to his feet. Desperately needing to make a tag here. And the capacity crowd here at the Riverview Flea Market where DWI holds their shows twice a month. Looking forward, Tommy, to the big annual Forest the Great Malenko Memorial Cup coming up in June. And DMI is always a great time to hang out here at DWI. Fans fans like a double action rate, which finally can make that tag. Big body slam out. Adam Mary Pete Velo. Anderson waiting to get in the ring for a while here. He's oh, and a DDT. DDT. Oh. This match giver. No. D'Lo oh, kicks out. Kicks out at the last minute. I think Preston Kane jumping in the ring there may have distracted him. Adam just a little bit. Oh, and D'Lo sent to the outside. Now the Lumberjacks are taking advantage of first degree. They get D'Lo back in the ring. Mandrake with these big clubbing forearms. Oh, and an elbow drop to the top of the head. I tell you, I've been on the receiving end of all those clubbing blows, and uh, you'll feel it the next day, sure. Butch holding his big boot there. Oh, you're slapping D'Lo. He's humiliating the, the, one of the tag champs here. Body slam. Oh. Only a two count. And again, Devo sent to the outside. Lumberjacks taking care of business once again. And the Lumberjacks really laying those belts in there. That's why I'm thankful I'm in the commentary booth with you and was not involved in this match. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, big chop. Did you see Dilo getting launched? His foot going over the top rope there. They heard that one all the way to the back row there, Tony. Tagging the Mandrake once again. Preston stopping the, the arm of Adam Reyes coming out for three. Well, one thing about first degree, you may not like their tactics, but there's certainly a fluid tagging. Oh, Mandrake charges into the ropes and hits the turnbuckle only. 
and the key word is team. They work together very well as a team. Big drop from Preston Kane there. Drake once again on the outside. Lumberjacks crowding around him. He's now back in the ring here. That mayor. Preston may be looking for a submission here. Push long, the crafty veteran here. And again, a rake to the eyes. And right now, something to turn back head first. Not really sure what that is, Tommy. It looks like uh, some sort of variation of a choke. Oh, now look at this. See the Lumberjacks over there, Butch Long trying to come in to save his partner. And Lumberjacks taking advantage of the situation. Nathan Bain now just wrapping the belt around Mandrake's throat. This could be it. Team tag. Oh, do you all look like you wanted to go for something there? Instead, goes to recover. Somebody yelled there was no tag, but it was a clean one to me. Again, Deal only gets a two count here. This European uppercut. No, ducks the clothesline. Ducks the elbow. And Mandrake with a big clothesline by Mark Mandrake. Diving clothesline. He will be feeling that one for a week. These guys are slapping the ring, trying to get their, their respective men up. He works back over towards his corner. He goes, Deal makes the tag. Mandrake makes the tag. Puts along a house of fire coming in here. Punches and elbows for everybody. Can a shot on it. Big Bit. high back drop. Oh. Good night, D'Lo. This could be it right here. We might have new champions. The belt's going to change hands here, folks. Oh, D'Lo breaks it up. I thought D'Lo would be in trouble ending up out there in the Lumberjacks, but got in on time. Highwayman here with a couple punches. Butch is now sent to the outside. Lumberjacks taking advantage of that. Mandrake misses with a the punch there. D'Lo getting dragged to the outside. Preston Kane's on the outside. Mandrake's the only man in the ring here. There's Bedlam, there's confusion. Total chaos breaks out. Preston's back in. D'Lo's back in. Not real sure what's going on here. Honey. No, neither am I. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the action here. And yeah, well, Lightning and Rose come in. Well, this match is going to be a disqualification, it looks like now. High women spilling into the ring. Donnie York attacks Monroe. Everybody's in there now. Pier 6 ball. Which reminds me a lot of the movie Slapshot here. Lumberjacks are standing up to him. The peanut vendors are standing up to him. The fans are even standing up to everybody here. I don't know what's going on. Lumberjacks all spilled into the ring, and you know who I don't see is first degree. Uh, I agree with you. Maybe taking advantage of the chaos here to get out with their belts. 
First degree. First degree, nowhere to be seen nowhere here. To be seen. They're going to be keeping the titles as this was a disqualification. Which long looking around doesn't see them anywhere. I lost them in the confusion here. They may have headed straight to the back. Mandrake asking for two referees here. So you can see you standing next to him here. Seen that in a while. Well, it sounds like the highwaymen are going to be happy with that decision here. Mm -hmm. Didn't gain the titles back today, but they're looking to get them again in a couple of weeks. And with that, that's going to do us for uh, do it for us here at DWI Pro Wrestling. For Frank Gray, I'm Tommy Grace, and we'll see you at the matches. See ya.